Lotus Land in Montecito is back open tonight. Today, the first visitors of the new season strolled through 19 garden features. News Channel 3 reporter Victoria Sanchez tagged along and discovered that even during this drought, the plants are thriving. There's a water shortage emergency in Montecito. And for a 37-acre garden like Lotus Land, that should be a big concern. But here, the plants are used to it. This has been part of our way we do gardening for decades. It means that we're already conserving an incredible amount of water. Many of the plants here at Lotus Land don't need much water at all, including here in the cactus garden with varieties from Argentina to Brazil. They're much more than just prickly. They have beautiful and bright flowers that attract pollinators and birds. And leave the hose alone. They're getting water on their own. The plant is adapted to collect every amount of moisture that it can out of the air. So we're not watering these. We're letting nature do what it does on these plants. That includes the aloe and succulents that attract the visitors looking for a new twist on landscaping. These are the gardens of the future. So the key for garden designers now is designing gardens that are beauty that don't use a lot of water that can survive in our natural climates. There are some plants that do need watering, like the lawn. But if you look closely, it's not as pristine as you might think. It's not just turf grass. There's broadleaf things in there. People will call them weeds. We don't care. With that mixture, a lot less water is needed. It's still beautiful, and, uh, and it, it's very sustainable. Lotus Land just might have people rethink what beautiful gardens are. In Montecito, Victoria Sanchez, News Channel 3. Makes me like the weeds in our garden yeah, even know. more. Well, foot